Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the Country Cut Show this morning. And uh, as you can see, I've got on my Woodstock shirt, and it says down here on my belly, as you can see, three days of music and fun and peace and love. And uh, so, what we gonna do this morning? We're going to zoom you in and we're going to do a lesson on lap steel, on going back and playing some of the good old music from the 60s and the 70s. some of the picking patterns of it and this is just some music and by learning something like this you can use it on your guitar or you can use it on your uh, lap steel or if you do like me and you create a loop you can put it together and make music from the 60s <laughs> So let's zoom in, stand by for that, and let's have some fun playing some lap steel, 60s style music. I know you're going to get a kick out of it, and the takeaway here is you're going to learn something today, folks. So come on in for the Zoom. Well, hello, and welcome back to the Zoom In, and I've got my guitar right here in my lap, and what we going to play to make these sounds. And we're going to give it a stroke across and a stroke back like that. And we're going to use the tenth fret, which is a D. Then we're going to the seventh fret right here, which is a B. So that's a D and a B. It goes like this. See how? Get down here, I'm breaking back. And then I rake forward and go from the seventh fret to the fifth fret and the third fret, and that's a B, and that's an A, and that's a G. Give it a little bit of that. Like that, and that's a C. So we go from an A, B, and then we slide all the way down to the third fret to the G. Slide back up to that A. So that's a D, a A, fifth fret. Then we go seven and eight. Then go into the 
third fret is a G. style picking and playing and this causes the chord arrangement I'm sure you've heard Credence Clearwater Revival using that riff
seen your bar movement and the strings you pick. Fishing the crack daylight, so we uh, I got out and dug up probably 25 or 30 trees yesterday with the backhoe. Uh, some of them that big around, and some of them were so big I had to uh, take and pull them up with a chain to get up under them to dig them up. The ground, we we gonna have rain today. They say we, they said that yesterday we didn't have it, but the ground out right here is about hard as concrete. As far as digging in it, you can uh, actually take a screwdriver or a spike and a hammer, and you can't even hardly hammer it in the ground. It's how hard the ground is right now. So we ain't had no rain in a long time. So I've been piling all them bushes up down there in my big plowed field that the hogs have been rooting on. That's another thing. We put out a hog trap yesterday, so maybe we can uh, trap some hogs and have us a barbecue. They say the uh, sows or the young female hogs are decent hogs to cook, but not the boars, so uh, if we shoot a boar or have to do away with it, I got a backhoe, we'll just put him in the ground to eat. Anyway, I hope that each and all of y'all folks out there in the 60s land enjoy this, and I hope that y'all get out there and pick up your lap still and practice, because it ain't, you ain't gonna learn if you don't put it in your lap, get your bar and your picks, you might use finger picks, thumb picks, or you might play like I do with your fingers and a flat pick, 
It don't matter to me how you want to play it. Just play it, folks. Get out there and play it. You can start off slow. Don't try to start off wide open fast if you're a beginner because you won't be able to do it. Start off slow and easy and learn your notes and learn like when I'm playing, you, you see my hand covers up the bar a lot and, and I can't tell where the bar is, but you got to get your ear tuned in to each fret and after a while you'll know that moving from one fret and skipping up one and two, you'll automatically know without even looking at the guitar, I can pretty much go from fret to fret and be right on top like that right there. You don't want to be behind it or in front. You want to be on top of the fret when you're making a chord or a note, whatever you're doing. All right, y'all come see us. We're going to do another uh, video for you on Wednesday. That'll be for the hump day report. My garden's looking great. The pole beans are, I got them string up strung up now, they're running up strings. I done picked two buckets of squash, and uh, let's see, uh, oh, I picked bell pepper. I've had some big old bell pepper this year, and the plants ain't that tall, but boy, they making bell peppers right on, and I'm keeping them pecked picked off and we got plenty of honeybees this year. I'm glad to see I was a little worried about that. Last year it's the honeybees disappeared and we had bummer bees, but bummer bees pollinate, but the honeybees will pollinate better and faster because they work it quicker and they smaller and they get on in there. Alright? Y'all stay safe out there and come back to see me and uh, have a great week people.